subscribe to Neja Classes and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello everybody, welcome to Neja Classes, a step towards best result. I am Sagar Neja. Today we are going to proceed to our new topic. In our previous video, we have started linear equation in two variables. Now we are going to solve the equations algebraically. So stay connected. Let us start with this topic. How to solve equations algebraically? Now for solving the equations algebraically, we have three methods named substitution method, elimination method and cross multiplication method. So with the help of these three methods, we can solve the values of x and y or we can take out the values of variables in our linear equations. Now we are going to start with substitution method. For instance, we can say let us take an equation. In that equation, we are going to find the value of x or y. We can take out the value of any variable out of the first equation and we are going to put the same value in the second equation. So in this way, we are going to solve. So let us start with the example. Now we have this question 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 and x plus y is equal to 2. Now let us take these two equations first. Let us write these two equations first and let these equations be first, the first equation and let second equation be second. Now, we can use any of the equation out of these two equations. So, I am using equation second first using equation second. So, it is x plus y is equal to 2. Now, out of this, we can take out the value of x either or we can take out the value of y. I am taking out the value of x by taking this plus y to that side it will become 2 minus y. Now the value of x we can put in another equation. This equation we have used and we have taken out the value of any of the one variable. Now the value of x that we have taken out 2 minus y. This value we can use easily in equation first. This process is known as substitution. Okay. Now in place of this x we will substitute the value of x that is 2 minus y. Now we can write put value of x in equation first. Second we have used now we have to put the value in equation first. Do not put this value in equation second. We will not get anything. Now the equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to Four. This was this is our equation 2x plus 3y is equal to 4. This I have to write first. Now the value of x is 2 minus y. The value of x is 2 minus y. Now put this value here 2 minus y plus 3y is equal to 4. Okay. On this place I have substituted 2 minus y. Now this will be equal to 4 minus 2y plus 3y is equal to 4. Now 4 minus 2y plus 3y will give us plus y is equal to 4. Now y will be equal to 4 minus 4 it is equal to 0 ultimately. Now the value of y we got 0 one variable we have find that is we have found one variable that is y is, is equal to 0. Now this value can be substituted in any of the equation. Now put value of y in equation 2. I am substituting this value in equation 2. x plus y is equal to 2. This is our, our equation 2. Now the value of y is 0. x plus 0 is equal to 2. Now the value of x we got 2. So we can say that the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 2. So in this way we can use substitution method and this is one of the easiest method that we can follow. Okay. Now we can take further uh, some high level questions also regarding substitution method that we will do now. Now let us take this question root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 and root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0. Why I have taken this question? Because many students have a fear, fear with these roots. So let us solve these roots now. Now see. Here also we have to take out the value of x and y in the same manner that we have done in the previous question with the method of substitution. Now let us solve this question. Now 
again in the same manner we are going to do root 3 root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 and let it be equation 1 and root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 and let it be equation 2 so we can use equation 1 or 2 any this time I am using equation 1 now root 2x plus root 3y is equal to 0 now root 2x now I can take this root 3y to right hand side the sign will get changed it will become minus root 3y now the value of x is minus root 3y upon root 2 now this value we can put in another equation now this time we have used first equation with the help of first equation we have calculated the value of x now we are going to put this value of x in equation 2 now equation 2 let me write root 3x minus root 8y so root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 now put the value of x in this so we can write this line also put value of x in equation second so equation second we have written root 3x minus root 8y is equal to 0 now the value of x is minus root 3y upon root 2 minus root 3y upon root 2 minus root 8y is equal to 0 now root 3 multiplied by root 3 it will give you 3 how it can give you 3 see here root 3 multiplied by root 3 now it is forming a pair now this pair can get out of the root ok this is the basic thing so in this way we can get minus 3y upon root 2 minus root 8y equals to 0 now we can take the LCM take the LCM here the denominator is 1 the LCM will be root 2 root 2 divided by root 2 1 a 1 multiplied by minus 3 it will give you minus 3y and here root 2 divided by 1 root 2 root 2 multiplied by root 8 now 8 multiplied by 2 in root then y over here now this root 2 will go to right hand side it will be multiplied by 0 it will become 0 now minus 3y minus now just write the prime factors of 8 2 multiplied 2 multiplied 2 is the prime factor of 8 now we have additional 2y is equal to 0 0 multiplied by root 2 will be equal to 0 now see again we have a pair minus 3y minus 2 multiplied by 2 give us 4 is equal to 0 this is minus minus plus then y is equal to 0 upon minus 7 will be equal to 0 so y we have equal to 0 now with the help of this value we can take out the another value that is the value of x now we can find the value of x by putting in any of the equation we can put the value of y in first equation or in this equation or in this equation also so by equation third we have x is equal to minus root 3 y upon root 2 is equal to minus root 3 upon root 2 multiplied by 0 this is also equal to 0 now we have two values that is x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so the answer is here the answer is x 0 and y 0 so in this way we can calculate the value of x and y and this is again the substitution method that I have discussed with you so this is all about substitution method now in my next video I am going to teach you elimination method so for that just stay connected with Tanija classes and keep learning keep supporting and subscribe to it and why you only just share it with your friends also and give your valuable comment so that I will be able to know all your doubts all your queries thank you so much